Uh, gosh, I would think coronavirus and stock market drops is a booming effect for our business, no? Uh, it, it, has, uh, it will have a short-term effect, that's for sure. Um, you know, we, we tend to focus more on virtual real estate uh, now. We're kind of working all of the business model towards that way. Uh, virtual real estate is really kind of a saving grace in this thing. In fact, it's next week we're going to come out with some, probably later this weekend, we'll come out with some marketing that really talks about the only coronavirus safe way to be involved in real estate is by virtually investing. Uh, and, and so, you know, we might be the, the rainbow, the silver lining, that type of thing. And you're going to probably see a lot of the Me Too crowd follow us uh, into the, the virtual space. And, you know, everybody will tell you how great that is. Uh, <laughs> a couple of guys and I were talking, the team were talking this afternoon about, you know, it, it feels like a 9-11 out there again. Um we're better today as an economy than we were in 9-11. Interest rates were higher then than they are now. You know, we've got, uh, you know, all of the things in place that are going to make uh, a recovery once we hit bottom, I think, uh, faster. Um, and so, you know, I would not panic. It's uh, the guys who kept their powder dry in this environment um, 19 years ago uh, when 9-11 hit. <laughs> they were the ones that made a ton of money. And so you've just got to, you know, uh, not panic, um, stay the course, continue to do what you're doing. And, yeah. uh, you know, once everybody gets over the fact that there's no hand sanitizer and toilet paper at Costco, uh, <laughs> you know, and that everybody is running around like chickens with their heads cut off and it's stupid, then they'll get back to business. So yeah. What it does is it creates a pent up demand for both a buy and sell situation. And, sure. um, you know, so if we don't make a sale in the next two weeks, cause everyone's sitting on their hands and watching the, you know, the talking head news channels, then okay, just use that uh, as a time period to kind of hone your craft and uh, get really good at uh, doing what you do out there. So we, so ha we have not seen a slip uh, in our home business, uh, we're getting as many calls like we just had to right now. Um, you know, people wanting to sell. I have no idea where Mars, Iowa is. Do you actually? <laughs> Some, somebody wants to sell a house on First Street in Mars, Iowa. Anyway, um, and uh, where's this other one? Yellville, Arkansas. I, I swear, I've never heard of any of these places. But, you know, these are people ready to sell. And so we're ready to buy and there are people ready to move in and we'll keep buying and keep selling. In fact, we've just uh, added to our staff today, uh, one additional person. Um, so we're, we're going the other direction. We're uh, kind of doubling down and, and yeah. increasing and, you know, we're going to really get out there. And uh, in fact, the, the, just to give you a little insight, the way Blair and I have worked on this thing for, and we've, we've looked at a potential and I've talked about this for a year, another nine 11 that will happen, you know, what could happen to us in this business our go-to is the housing business instead of the education business. The education business could slow down slightly for us, but the housing business will actually increase because, um, and I remember very carefully, uh, very distinctly on 9-11 when this thing happened, you know, nobody wanted to do anything. Everybody wanted to hunker down for a long period of time. Um, and you don't hunker down, uh, you know, at a Motel 6, uh, you know, or out in the backyard of grandma's house. You try and get a house or an apartment and you try and have a place to stay and you stay there and load it up with all that um, hand sanitizer and toilet paper from Costco. And right. so, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think it's a great opportunity for us. And that's, that's where we're putting our money is, you know, to double down on the housing business because I think that is the, the safe environment especially the way we're doing it now, which is, you know, the virtual real estate investing thing. So. Right.